YouTube, what's up? It's your boy, Wave Man Mike, and we're back for another video. Stay tuned. In this video, right here, the video that you're watching, I'm gonna teach you how to get waves fast. That's what you came here to watch, right? That is what you want to watch, right? I think that's what you want to watch. Is it? I thought so. I mean, because you clicked on the video, right? If it isn't what you want to watch, I would say still watch. I mean, why not? This video is going to be lit. All my videos are lit. So if you came here for a lit video, then just stay because that's what this is. But without further ado, let's get into this lit video before any of that i want you to do something go ahead and press that like button and go comment lit squad down in the comment section below lit squad go comment it did you do it oh you're doing it right now okay okay i'll wait i mean i'm not in no rush did you comment all right let's get this video started all right so first off i'm gonna tell you the things that you need Thing number one, you're gonna need something to hold your hair down. This is the Cold Label Wolfen Pomade. Well, actually it's the Wave and Scout Butter, but they come in the same container, so. As far as you know, it's just the Wolfen Pomade. I mean, nah, I told you it's not, but. Anyway, this, you're gonna need some pomade. There are many different types of pomade. This is one you've probably seen before, 360 style wave pomade. And there's also more like sporting waves, there's Murray's Pomade. I'm pretty sure you've seen some of those before. Different ones have different level of chemicals in them. There are unnatural products and there are natural products. This is an example of a natural product. This is an example of an unnatural product. If you're a beginner, then you really don't need to worry about which one is natural or unnatural. You're just trying to get the waves to come in. So I just suggest get whatever works best for you. Don't worry about which one is healthy or not healthy. I mean, worry about that, but either way, they probably, you know, they're gonna have the same impact at this beginning, beginning stage that you're at. Next up, you're gonna need some moisturizer. Your question probably is, what's the difference between a pomade and a grease and a moisturizer, right? The difference is a pomade and the grease are just there to hold your hair down, right? The moisturizer is there to moisturize your hair. It's literally in the name. There are other things you can put in your hair like oils and stuff, but we're not gonna get into that. Um, that's more like down the road when you're worried about your hair health and getting your waves to be as shiny and silky as possible. But in these beginning stages, your waves probably aren't gonna look like that anyway. But yeah, you're gonna need some moisturizer Put this in your hair maybe, let's say, two to three times a week. Also, these you can put in your hair, I say one to two times a week. The moisturizer you put in more often than the pomades and butter because the moisturizer absorbs in your hair a lot easier. Also, it absorbs in your do-rag sometimes. Your do-rag might just strip it straight out, so you're gonna need to put it on more often. Next up, you're gonna need a brush. This is the most important thing about waves, especially in a video like this, we're talking about getting your waves fast. The way to get waves is to brush your hair, right? The more you brush your hair, the faster your waves will come and the better they'll look. The less you brush your hair, the slower they'll come and the worse they'll look. This particular brush is a Smooth Styles brush. If you've seen any of my videos before, you probably saw or heard me talk about this brush before. Um, yeah, you can get it from smoothstyles.com. I'll probably leave a link down below. It's a really nice brush for you to get because I have a deal for it. See, if you order this brush and use my code, WAVEMAN, you get a 20% discount. I don't know why you wouldn't do it. It's basically the same quality as some of these more popular brushes by like Torino and stuff like that. Like to me, they're the same. Maybe to you, they might be different, but to me, they're pretty, pretty much all brushes that are made like the same type of brush are the same to me. All curved brushes feel the same to me, unless it's just one that's like really low quality. But for real, for real, they're all the same to me. I use this brush all the time, just regular brush sessions, 
uh, washing styles. I do everything with this brush and it's holding up really good. Next up, you're gonna need a mirror. The reason I have this turned the opposite way is because it's cracked. If you're acting me, Michael, why? Oh yeah, my name's Michael, by the way. Uh, just a side note, my name's not Mike. That's just, you know, it'll sound weird, weird you know, wave man Michael, nah. Wave man Mike. But anyway, if you ask me, Michael, why don't you just get a new mirror, right? That's because I did, and I broke both of them. So this just happens to be the one that's the least cracked. So I still use it. I might buy another mirror someday, but for right now, I'm saving money. I'm in college. That's why I was promoting this brush too, because you save money. You get that 20% discount if you order this brush and use my code, WAVEMAN. By the way, they sell more brushes than this. On the Smooth Styles website, they sell other brushes, they sell do-rags, they sell like, like actual products and stuff. So I recommend you go there. I'm pretty sure you can use my code on any item on their website. 20% off, I don't know why you wouldn't do it. But yeah, I think those are, I think I went over all the materials that you're gonna need. So now let's go over how to use them. Okay, so for the products like these, I'm not actually gonna use them right now. Um, just because I used them already this morning, I didn't even think about the fact that I was gonna do a video and I was gonna have to use them again in the video. But yeah, so let me show you how to use this. Obviously, you gotta take off the top. You usually get like a dime size amount. Pretty sure you know what a dime size amount is. It should literally be this big on your finger. The same size as a dime. You see how big this is? This is how much you need. But if that doesn't feel like enough, you can have a quarter size amount. Like that. All right, cool. You got the moisturizer. Rub it in your hair. I mean, no, rub it in your hands. Then evenly spread it throughout your hair. Evenly. You're spreading it throughout your hair, okay? Just pretend that I'm actually doing it. You know, obviously I'm not doing it right now because I have my do-rag on. Oh, what the heck? Wait, did I already say that? I forgot to mention that you need a do-rag too, but we're gonna get into that, okay? Anyway, let's just keep going with what I was talking about. You rub this in your hair. All right, that should be good. Now, get your brush and brush your hair in whichever direction that you want your waves to come in. Here's a trick. Count to 100 on each side that you do. So first you start on the top. One, two, three, four, all the way until 100. Then you go to the sides. One, two, three, four, all the way to 100. The back, till 100, the other side till 100, the other side till 100. All together, each side gets a thousand brush strokes. You can break up the sides into how many, however many sections you want. So it can be one, two, three, four, five, six, or it can be just one, two, three, four. Like it could be as many sides as you want. All right, you did that. Now you get whichever pomade you choose to use. For me, if I were beginning, I would use this one first. Put this in my hair. Same thing, dime to quarter size amount. And then brush your hair. A hundred strokes on each side. You did all the sides a hundred times each, not a hundred all together, but a hundred on each side. Once you've done that, then go ahead. Oh, I forgot another material, what the heck? You get a plastic bag. It can be pretty much any type of plastic bag. It could be like a Ziploc bag or it can be a grocery store bag, maybe even a trash bag. If you're on that type of struggle, hey, it could be a cereal bag. You know, the, the one that come in the cereal box. I don't recommend that, but it probably will work. Oh, while we're talking about things I don't recommend, I don't recommend using the ones from Loaf of Bread. I did that before, and the, you know, the, um, you know the colors that are on the bag, it rubbed off and kind of like dyed my hair. It was horrible. I was washing it and everything, it wouldn't come out. 
But that's besides the point. Get a Ziploc bag or a grocery store bag, put your hand inside the bag, and then rub that on your hair. Trust me, just do it. It sounds weird, but it works. Rub it on your head. Do this for about 10 minutes, all sides. If you wanna make sure that you get it all even, go ahead and do 100 sides on um, 100 strokes on each side. But honestly, you don't need to do 100 strokes with the plastic bag. I say maybe 25 to 50 on each side. Now, put your do-rag on. I forgot to tell you that you need a do-rag at the beginning. I don't know how I forgot that, but you need a do-rag. Put your do-rag on, keep it on for, I say an hour, and then take it off, and then do this whole thing all over again, all right? Once you take your do, um, do all that all over again, put your do-rag back on, and then like hopefully you're doing this at night. I probably should have said you should do this at night, but yeah, you wanna keep your do-rag on when you go to sleep. Never go to sleep or never lay down your head or do anything without your do-rag on. Or, I mean, no, not or, but and, if you go to the pool or you get in the shower, every time your hair is gonna get wet, if you're going to the pool, going to the shower, if you're going to be sweating, have your do-rag on. If you're at school and you're in gym class, I guess that's an exception because some schools don't let you wear your do-rag. So. But anytime, like if you just go to the basketball court or something, you're going to be playing and you know you're going to sweat, have your do-rag on. Trust me, you don't want to mess up your progress. And you will mess it up if you get your hair wet without a do-rag on. Even if it's something as simple as you're in your house, you see it's raining outside, before you go outside, put your do-rag on. When you get back inside, maybe you're going to like dinner, go to the bathroom, take your do-rag off. All right, so that's the method. You wanna do this every day, every day. So if you started today while you're watching this video, and you're still gonna do it tomorrow. If you think you're gonna forget like the steps in this method, you can always come back and watch the video over again so you can you know, make sure you get this stuck in your head. Watch this as many times as possible until you memorize every step. Because trust me, you're gonna want your waves to be swimming. And this is the fastest way. Remember, you're doing this process twice a day, every day, no off days. You go on vacation, make sure you have all your materials with you. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? Okay, the, wow. The second time that you do the process, on the first day, don't put the moisturizer and pomade back in your hair, okay? You put that in that once, right? Also, the other days out of the week, you don't have to put the moisturizer and stuff in every single time. Only put the moisturizer in three to four times a week. Only put the, yeah, yeah. Only put the pomade in one to two times a week. So right now, I'm recording this video on a Sunday, right? I put this stuff in my hair today the next time I put the moisturizer in my hair will probably be like Tuesday. Next time I put the pomade in my hair will probably be like Thursday. You don't want to put the products in your hair every day because you don't want it to build up. But you do want to put it enough that it can do what it needs to do because it's going to be stripped. So you need it enough in your hair at all times. But yeah, do this product. I mean, do this process every day minus putting the products in every day. But yeah, brush your hair every day, 100 strokes on each side, plastic bag, every day, 100 strokes on each side. Put your do-rag on for an hour to maybe three hours, as long as you want, really, as long as it's more than an hour. Take the do-rag off and then brush again, 100 strokes on each side. It's a plastic bag. Put your do-rag back on, go to sleep, wake up, do this the next day, and the next day, and the next day. But that's pretty much it for this video. That's pretty much it for this video. I'm Wade Man Mike. Thank you for watching. Remember to go comment Lit Squad down in the comment section. I'm Wade Man Mike. Enjoy your day. Oh wait, did I tell you to like? If I didn't, go ahead and press the like button and share this video with other people. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't press the like button already, but hey, yes, when I say you, I mean literally you. You right there. Can we try to get like, I don't know. YouTube, the algorithm been messed up lately. I would ask for like, 500 likes but things have been sad lately so i'm gonna say 100 likes can we get 100 likes can we get 250 likes 250 likes i shouldn't ask can we get it i know we can get it all it takes is for you to press this like button i'm wayman mike 
subscribe, comment, and like. Bars. Enjoy your day.